Jack. It's my last stream. I'll pick last stream. I'm going out with a bang. Swap the water, Sandy. Now, what do you do when there's a life-threatening storm like tsunami, earthquake, hurricane? What do you do? Do you go hide somewhere, hug your family, call your friends, tell them you love them, pray to God for forgiveness? Ask God that if I survive this storm, I promise I'll start praying. I'll be a good person. I'll be a good Christian or a Muslim. What do you do? Do you wish for the best? Nope. What, what, do you, what timeline you think this is? This is 2024. You still, you'll take out your phone and you start recording because it is very mindful. It is very demure. Demi, demi, demi it is cutesies. It is thoughtful. It is vibesies. It is mibesy. It is fartsy. It is all z. Did I say demure? Because in 2024, people do not fear death. They fear the fact that they if they miss a chance of going viral and they'll regret it for the rest of their lives same thing happened with this kick streamer when he almost died screaming in tent on beach during the hurricane helen now you're probably aware of the hurricane going on in florida it's absolutely horrible even a very popular streamer tifu posted this on his page Coffins floating. Let's see. Oh, fuck. And even Jinxie, a very popular streamer, shared the footage of how he just lost all the electricity out there. Luckily, his house is just too high for the water to reach, and his area wasn't that bad, so he just lost electricity. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm actually going to crash out. I started my stream. This hurricane. Shut off my power. I have no power. I have the flashlight in my phone. PC off. Monitor off. Everything just lights off. But other people's homes identified as a swimming pool and it is absolutely destroyed. There's water everywhere. According to BBC, over 50 dead as Helen unleashed life-threatening floating. And obviously with this life-threatening stuff, you have to just cross your fingers, pray, and be in the safest place possible if you have to move somewhere because you know if your house area is in a very dangerous spot you gotta move but this kick streamer over here instead of moving going back getting himself into a safe area he started feeling it's giving streaming vibes it is giving thoughtful demure vibes i don't know if i'm using that correctly or not but he decided to go in the middle instead of running away he decided to go in the middle of the hurricane and just do a stream over there because yolo very thoughtful we in tampa phone all right Today, I'm going to be in a tent. This is my tent. I'm going to be in a tent during the hurricane. All right, first kick streamer to survive a hurricane outside in the fucking hurricane. You feel what I'm saying? Shit. I'm over here by the fucking shore. Shit. Starting to get active on baby. Fuck. Go for a swim. Guys, there's no amount of subs. There's no amount of views that'll make me jump in a body of water just I will bet my left nut sack that he will do it for five gifted subs. Bro came all this way and you're telling me he's not going to jump? This little baby from Timo will do probably anything for, for the right price. Because after all, he is a kick streamer. Now, I, I gotta say, I'm very surprised. Usually black people, they don't do dangerous things. They're, you know, they stay away, especially haunted houses. Stupid shit like this is usually for like white people where they see like a ghost at the end of the, you know, hallway. They go towards it. They say, hi, hi. They go towards it and that's how they get murdered in literally every horror movie usually black people they run away and they say hell no but this guy decided to go full and put a tent camp do a q and a with everyone on stream i mean i gotta say he got balls but at the same time it is absolutely stupid Now, I gotta say, in this situation, the water wasn't so demure, wasn't so thoughtful, wasn't so 
mindful wasn't very respectful but at the same time the area that he was in it wasn't really that bad it was just windy a lot of wind and he was next to the water obviously it's going to the wind is gonna just gonna be a lot of water hitting the break and it's gonna fall over it but it's not like tsunami vibes so if you think about it it wasn't that bad in his area but other areas homes got destroyed as the reports just came out literally 14 minutes ago that over 50 people died so if he was streaming this in north carolina 100 percent it was going to give unaliving vibes and the funny thing is people are actually going to do these things this is this reminds me of uh these parkour people who go really really high just to not to get the adrenaline and rush anymore just for the fact to record it so people they will give people a reaction and you know they'll go viral i find parkouring in high story buildings absolutely stupid i find it even more dangerous than if you go in the middle of north carolina right now and you just tent and you're like guys we we live uh, w's in the chat w w's and there's a lot of tragedies that happen in this whole parkour youtube thing tiktok thing whatever people post on social media and you ask them why do you do this they say it is something i love and if i die just know i was you know i was loving what i'm doing and i had a smile in my face no you were not having a smile on your face when you were falling from a 50 story building this is your reaction when you were falling like when it comes to, for example, car racing, it is understandable. It is still risky, but it's understandable. But parkour, it takes a, 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 a finger cramp. But I guess this is just an average kick streamer willing to risk it all to become a streamer. I mean, have you guys seen how much Lacey and Stable Ronaldo and these face clans they're making? Literally the other day I saw from uh, on Twitter, Lacey accidentally leaked his total amount on his PayPal account and... 12 million dollars so i understand why they're going for it but it's still not worth it if you have 12 million dollars but what you're dead how are you gonna use you think you will be able to use that money in the afterlife but i mean at the same time if you're smart enough you'll book your spot in heaven from now like the video that we talked about but if you're in florida and watching this video right now i hope everything is well with you i hope you and your family are safe i don't know what happened to your place let me know in the comments below what's the condition in your area anything happened to your neighborhood or to your house or whatever stay safe out there and if you remember like in march of 2024 literally six months ago dubai had a very horrible um it wasn't like as bad as you know houses you know fucking flying in the air and just getting absolutely destroyed no i mean houses were fully flooded no roofs came off but it, you know the houses started identifying as a swimming pool it wasn't very cute the weather wasn't so thoughtful so mindful so respectful so thoughtful so not full not mool whatever the shit is there out there and i made a vow to myself that i am never gonna go out of the house the second it starts raining like heavily because last time i went out in march my car engine blew up and i had two holes in it and i had to sell my left kidney to just be able to afford to buy a new engine and buy a new transmission because guess what after i fixed my car my transmission blew up but anyway stay safe out there be very mindful i'm, I'm gonna stop be very mind you know what the fuck be take care of yourself like i watched one tiktok and this shit is stuck in my head right now and i'm like three four months late to the whole trend but anyways uh stay safe out there if there's a hurricane go hide and pray to god that you'll be alive and make sure to watch the daily youtube videos and the yapping sessions we're gonna have because according to some people i have a very smoothing voice that is going to make you feel safe just watching me yap